One of the false entitlements all of us Americans have grown up with, so this is something that was around back in the 60s and the 70s and the 50s even, and when I grew up in the 80s, that American children feel like they're entitled. It's your God-given right, this is what you're told, to go out and get wasted and have a good time and so your oats or whatever you know this is just this your god-given right to party you got to fight for your right to party was a beastie boy song back in the i think the early 90s and there's always been these party films which have gotten worse and worse over the years it's just the level of entitlement it's not true at all you don't have some god-given right to party and get wasted and and make bad decisions and these types of things. This this is not something that is a condition of human life. Most people around the world are just struggling. At least half the population is living in such poverty. They're just struggling to have a meal, to have water and these types of things. And I've been talking about how they have been, I guess you would call it, flipping the script and bringing women into men's bad behaviors. Now I just made a f uh, video about this um, movie Bad Moms and there's this movie I called I think uh, Bridesmaids and this is the typical male party these were male party movies where men would go out there was a, a movie called Bachelor Party I guess in the 90s and there's just al always been these types of uh, men movies where men go out the Hangover series is a, an older version of this but it's usually young guys going on spring break and behaving irresponsibly and the movies always suck and they're always pointless and they perpetrate this myth that you have some god-given right to go out whatever it is blow off some steam because your life is so hard going to college and these types of things that you can go out and behave like an idiot and now they are switching it so that women are featured in this film and this film that just came out entitled rough night is about this subject and the movie features Scarlett Johansson and uh, Kate McKinnon, but it's just the same old cliched themes that have been done over and over again in various movies. There's nothing redeeming here, but it's just another level of degradation. And I'll get in this, this is just a moment about the degradation of the woman, women that I've been talking about in other videos. And so it features this, uh, the trailer features, it pretty much tells you what the whole film's going to be about which is Scarlett Johansson is about to get married. So they go to Miami to have a bachelorette party. They get drunk, they use cocaine, and they kill a stripper because that's just what's going to happen at a bachelorette party. And instead of calling the cops, they decide to do whatever with the body, like some weekend at Bernie's type situation. I've seen this in about 12 different movies. They're walking around with a dead body or whatever covering up this crime. Now, I've covered this with women now being these violent action heroes and then being included in the military and that they're pushing this woman, this uh, modern day woman who's trigger happy and gung ho for war. And this is the flip side of this where they are going out and behaving irresponsibly, getting drunk and behaving like idiots like men have been told they they have the god-given right to behave in these stupid party movies and women have long been the arbiters of morality because just the innate sense of raising children and loving children and having to be what's called the lakshmi in the indian indian tradition i've talked about this the wealth of the family the centerpiece of the family and part of women's job over history is to talk men out of doing stupid crap that they're predisposed to do like fight unnecessary wars and take unnecessary risks there's a lot of things that go with having testosterone that make men behave in a way that isn't in anybody's best interest and we've since history has borne this out there was a time on our farm where we had female cows and female goats and female chickens, hens, and we ended up getting a male goat and some roosters, and it changed everything. Having testosterone on the farm changed everything with these animals. I mean in terms of social dynamics and other things. 
And so this is something where there has to be some balance and at least one, one sex in the species has to be reasonable in various ways. Of course, there's ways that men can help balance out and bring calmness to women's emotional type states. So there's a balance here. But now you see, they, like I said, they're flipping the script. You see chick flicks now starring men. And you see action flicks starring women. And then now you see these party flicks starting, starring women. And they're just completely getting rid of all of the naturally built-in checks and balances in the human species. And this is really important because this is why there are two sexes. They help balance each other out. And they both find their natural roles, which are being obliterated in our modern day system on all different kinds of levels, socially and within the, the rule of law and all these types of things. They're trying to get rid of the behaviors and the, the natural design of the human beings. And of course, this is going to have disastrous effects. Right now, it's okay. It seems okay because we're depending on an unnatural system that basically hand delivers our food and our water and all of our needs to us. We're 100% dependent on this demonic beastly system. So we have the luxury to behave this way because food is still going to show up in your grocery stores tomorrow. Water is still going to show up in your house as long as this debt-based economic system holds up. But when it doesn't, you have to revert back to your natural design. It's like we're living in a zoo. We get let out of the zoo and then we have to figure out how to be naturally what we are designed to be. And back when I was in you know, the 80s, I'd see these films or whatever, and you just say, you know, this is just them using sex and this party motif to make money, make cheap money on a poorly written and low budget film. But now you can see, I can see, and I think most people can see, this has become some sort of propaganda. They're moving us to a low vibrational level of existence. I've talked about this in so many videos, and this is just another case of this. And you can see it over and over again. This is intentional. They're degrading the human species. All right, this is Paul Romano reporting from the apocalypse. Everybody have a blessed day.